tell me. And then I'm going to write a problem that will show you that that's true. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Anybody confused about their number? Okay. Ten. Okay. Yes. Good job. If it turns out that they're exactly the same line, then the place where they cross is always. That makes sense? Yeah. That means you could literally plug in any point on the line and it would be true. Yeah? Doesn't that mean the problems would look exactly the same? Almost. So let me show you an example where they wouldn't, okay? And where you'd realize it. So here we go. Y equals 3x plus 2. I should probably write parallel by this one. All right, and the other one, let's say it was y equals 3 parentheses x plus 2 thirds. They look different. But then if you start simplifying this one so you can graph it, what would you have to do? Distribute the 3. And so what's 3 times x? Well, that's 3x. And then this is like 3 over 1. So 3 over 1 times 2 thirds is 6 over 3, which is 2. So do you see how sometimes you'll end up with a problem, and this might happen in your homework, where you simplify one, and then it basically turns into the exact same equation as the other? Do you have to graph that? No. no. You can say these are the same line. This is infinite solutions. Well done, Jake. Would you like a pen, sir? Yeah. Are you going to break it apart and then try to staple it back together? Probably not. Probably not? Probably. Probably. Well, it's your pen. I can't control what you do. <laughs> Green, orange, reddish pink. It's kind of more like a maroon almost. Hmm. 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 You're welcome. All right. So, your homework is a grand total of. It better not be like nine, so then we have to do one. Oh, that's like.